Which is better, medium or substick? If you've also been wondering that, I totally understand, but also it's kind of the wrong question because it's like comparing apples and oranges and for me it's not an either or, it is an and. Writing on medium and substick. Both can be in one ecosystem. The two platforms fit together very well, they complement each other. As I always say, they fit together like peanut butter and jelly or peanut butter and cookies. Who am I to tell you anything about Medium and Substack? I'm a top writer on Medium and also a Substack bestseller with hundreds of paid subscribers on Substack. So often writers tell me, Christina, I don't have the time, attention, the bandwidth to write on both sides. But is this true? I write on both sides. I'm a part-time creator with only about two to three hours per day to spend on my online writing business, I have to agree that if I put more focus on Substack, I often don't manage to write on Medium as much as I'd love to. But the reason isn't Substack alone, it's that I'm also creating videos on YouTube, which I share via my newsletter, and often I need to prioritize on this to publish one video per week. In addition, I now also amplify this via a Substack native podcast, a podcast that is native on Substack. However, for you, if you're just thinking about Medium and Substack, it doesn't have to feel like the way it feels for me in this content triangle. Of course, you have to build and feed another platform, but both fit together perfectly like peanut butter and jelly. So here is what you can do to create, as I call it, a Substack medium hybrid. The first thing you can do is to link to your email list on Substack via medium. And this is what I'm doing here in this story, for instance. Then what you can do is you link to your best performing stories on medium via Substack. So for instance, here, trending stories on medium and then I'm just linking to these stories. The next thing is you can also collect data points on Substack and then write an original in-depth piece for your newsletter audience. I think the best place for this is Substack Notes. Substack Notes is Substack's internal social media network. And here, for instance, I shared this one here and it got 80 likes, 16 replies and 12 restacks. Restacks is like sharing on any other social media platform. And this is a data point for me, which I could use and then say, hey, I want to write a long form piece about this because on Substack Notes, let's say 90% is about short form writing. You can also take parts that people highlighted on Medium and create a story around it for your Substack audience. So for instance, this one is was a very successful story on Medium. And then I could say, hey, I want to grab some pieces of this here and then, you know, share it on Substack, for instance, on Substack Notes as a short form post or create a long form post as a newsletter on Substack. So what you can do is you can use Medium here at the top of the funnel where you gain followers because of course Medium wants to help you gain more followers, at least if you're writing about the topics that the platform prefers. And then from there you have like going from Medium and then you would have for instance YouTube, the podcast and so on and so on. And then you would go to the Substack at the bottom of the funnel where you can then gain subscribers and build an email list. And the email list is your most valuable asset in your business, your most valuable asset in your business. And that is why it is so important. So on Medium, I see it more as your personal blog and Substack, I see it more as your newsletter. So this is a publication on the web. It is a publication. It can also be your website and it is your newsletter. So for instance, this one, this was also a guest post here from Alexandre and this was a newsletter. This is published on my publication. This is similar to also my website on the internet and it also is a nice post which I then, if I would want, also repurpose on Medium. I can set a canonical link, for instance, but there is no such thing as duplicate content on the web. So you could also like put it, maybe tweak it a bit and then put it on Medium or the other way around. Often people tell me, you know, Christina, can I do this? Of course you can, you can. You own your content. This is the good thing about Medium as well as on Substack and you are the owner. It's your original piece so you can share it. So again, Medium would be then on the top of the funnel and Substack at the bottom, but the same could be with Substack here at the top of the funnel. And then for instance, Medium at the bottom, it depends what you want. But of course, subscribers <laughs> are more important than followers. Followers can be a vanity metric and often they are dead. They are not engaged. But with your subscribers, if you have 
engaged subscribers. And if you're checking out Substack's website where you can see exactly and calculate how much money you can make with, let's say, a subscription of $5 or so, this is amazing. So with just 50 or 100 subscribers, you could already gain a nice recurring income. And this is really awesome. So you can then monetize both platforms. So you could monetize Substack and also Medium. And how to monetize Substack and Medium together. <laughs> so on Medium, you can join the Medium Partner Program. There you can earn money with your words based on engagement, reading time, boost or not. So there is a new thing. It's called Medium Boost. You can check out all the videos on my YouTube channel about this. And recently Medium has added about 77 countries to the Medium Partner Program. You pay $5 per month and then you can join the Medium Partner Program and earn money with your words. Then we have Substack. Substack is totally free. It will be forever free. You can gain paid subscribers, which will pay you a recurring income and support you with their subscription by supporting only you. And this is, I think, one of the biggest differences besides that your newsletter is more than just, you know, a newsletter. It's also, as I said, a landing page, a homepage, a publication, and also could be your blog. But here you can see that Medium is charging for it and Substack isn't charging for it. What's going to happen on Substack is if someone votes with their wallet for you, then Substack takes a 10% cut, similar to Gumroad, where they also take a 10% cut. This is a platform where you can offer all your digital services, but of course also courses and one-on-one -on -one sessions and webinars, cohorts, and so on and so on. So at the moment, I don't find the time to write that much a medium and engage because I also have my YouTube channel and my Substack membership called The Online Writing School. So I have a membership going. I also have a podcast. And I used to be a top writer in 2022 when I started my Substack. I said to myself, I don't want to put all eggs in one basket. And it's very important. I think don't put all eggs in one basket. Be on multiple platforms because you never know what happens. The algorithm can change. The platform could close down. So my idea was, although I was a top writer with badges of honors in multiple categories and earning about, let's say, $800 to $1,000 plus, I decided, you know, I wouldn't want to put all eggs in one basket because I saw already that medium was changing. And I also knew from my marketing and branding background that an email list is so, so valuable and it's like the most valuable asset in your business. So I knew that building an email list would be the next step. And just to let you know, on Medium, you could also gain new subscribers, but of course the focus is not on subscribers. So you could say, for instance, for me with the 12,000 followers I have, I have about 500 plus subscribers there. And then on Substack, for instance, my goal is to get more subscribers than followers on Medium. This is my next one, because I know that somehow this metric of the follower is is dead and I also want to invest 100% now in this new subscriber model and in the philosophy that Substack has that Substack says hey you can get paid to be you on our platform and if people again vote with their wallets then the money will all go to you and on Medium it's a bit different so you never know how much exactly you will gonna make and also with the boost that there are people who can nominate your stories for a big fat boost and that you then earn let's say $100 instead of $10 this is nice however especially if you have a family and you have a family to feed and you're a part-time writer, it's always nicer to have this recurring income. However, you can earn money on both. So the idea here was, let's talk about, we said, said like $800 to $1,000 plus. Let's go with $800 to show you what happened when I started writing on Substack because this was amazing. So I was flailing around in uh, after 2022 because I gave birth to my baby. But then in January 2024, I decided to go paid and offer a paid premium newsletter with my membership and and this time I wanted to make it right and I really wanted to know what I was doing. I wanted to be strategic about it so I knew exactly what I wanted to offer and I knew my audience would be medium writers as well as Substack writers and people who would want to start, grow and monetize their online writing business. Often these are also people who are part-time writers as I am, you know, who <laughs> manage a lot of things and have to keep all the balls in the air. So the idea was to help them and also bring inspiring voices to my newsletter and to my membership where you you could meet them. So again, let's say back then I was earning about $800 on Medium. And then I said, hey, I also want to turn on the paid button on Substack. And since this happened in January, I can say that I tripled my income. So I tripled my income from these $800 to more than $2,000. 
thousand dollars recurring income on a monthly basis which i love especially if you're a part-time creator you need sustainable members in your tribe and people who support your work and say hey it's so valuable i want to vote with my wallet for you and i love all the feedback i got from the community and everything so this is how i could triple my income which i really really love and i always say you can do the same if i can do it you can do it too especially since i'm not a native speaker i'm a non-native speaker so of course if i would do all this in German, then it would also be different. I could express myself much better and so on and so on. So if you think you can swing it, then both make sense and you can create a medium substack hybrid your way. So my recommendations, you know now what you could do. These are just some of many recommendations I have, you know, kickstart this medium substack hybrid. If you want to find out more, then check out my newsletter, the online writing club with now more than 8,500 smart writers. I'd love to hear from you. If you love this, please subscribe, like it and share it with someone you think might be very happy about listening and watching this. See ya!